So you want to start a church, you want to pioneer a church, you want to plant a church, and you're wondering to yourself, how do I know if I'm ready? How do I know if I'm called? What exactly do I do? Now, I'm going to give you six questions to ask yourself in order to bring clarity on whether or not you should be starting a brand new church. My name is Jeff Moores. I am a church planter, lead pastor, leadership consultant, dedicated to building better leaders. You might be wondering what qualifies me to be making this video. Well, one is I am a church planter. I started Rhythm Church in January of 2020. That's right, January of 2020. We met for eight weeks and then shut down for three months. And so far, we're still going. We're at four services. God is blessing. Lives are being changed. It's absolutely amazing. But there was a process that I had to go through in order to find out if we should even start Rhythm Church. Now, here's a few things to ask yourself. Number one, have you served somebody else's vision? Have you been on staff at somebody else's church and led and led well? Have you been able to submit yourself to other people's leadership? For instance, I was on staff at two other churches before I started Rhythm Church. I was on staff at a church in Marysville, Washington as a youth pastor and then senior associate and then on staff at a church in Vista as a young adult pastor, venue pastor, teaching pastor. And in each of those churches, I served wholeheartedly. I served their vision. I submitted when I disagreed. I didn't try to do my own thing at each of these churches. I submitted to the leadership and helped fulfill the vision of the lead pastors. Second question, have you had past success in the ministries that you've led? One, have you led a ministry? And two, have you had success within those ministries? Have you seen them grow? Have you been able to raise up teams and build leaders, manage a, a, a small ministry budget within there? Have you been able to empower and delegate, been able to teach and lead inspirationally? And have you been able to gather people around a vision? Third question is, do other lead pastors see this in you? When I got ready to plant a church, I actually started to meet with other lead pastors throughout uh, Southern California. That's where we're based. And, and actually, even in the Las Vegas, and just called people, sat down, met with them, and said, do you see this in me? This is what I've done in ministry. Some of them knew me very well and were able to speak directly to me that, yep, I see this in you. I see that you could do this. So I had other lead pastors that co-signed the vision that I believe God was giving me and the call that God was giving me to plant a church. Fourth, do you have the blessing of your current lead pastor? Now, this is where things can get a little tricky. I know that certain people come from certain movements, and those movements aren't necessarily known for blessing people on the way out. But to the best of your integrity and character, have you gotten the blessing to leave and start a church from your current lead pastor? And if not then is there biblical grounds for you still to leave and then start a church? You never want to leave mad. You never want to run from something. You always want to run to something. You don't want to start a church out of frustration, out of anger, out of bitterness, or out of resentment. You want to be able to start that work with a full, healed heart. When I believed I was being called to plant, I talked with my lead pastors. I asked them about the location. I asked them about all that stuff. And because of the way I'd served at that church, they gave me a full blessing and actually even paid my salary for a year. And we're going to talk about fundraising in this series that will come in a later video. So pay attention. Fifth, do you have a geographical location, a city, a region that you believe that you are being called to? Is your heart being connected to that region, to that area, to that city? Not just, I think it would be great to go there, not just there's strategy behind it, but ultimately, do I long to see God move there? Is there a need there? Like if there is a church on every corner, is there really a need for another church? Or is this an area that desperately needs more healthy churches to help spread the gospel? And why do you feel called there? You have to be able to answer those questions on why you feel called there. And six, I don't have six fingers and I'm holding the mic with this one. So number six, are you starting to get a vision for what your church will look like and how your church will impact that community? We're going to be talking about that more in the next video on how to 
get and communicate a vision for a church plant, but do you feel like the Lord is giving you glimpses, showing you things you're thinking about, dreaming about, praying about, and getting excited about what this church could look like and how this church could radically change people's lives, how it could be healthy, how it could be unique, meaning not necessarily the same as all the other churches in the region, but something that's going to make you guys just a little bit different so that you are able to partner with the other great churches in your region. So there you go. Six things to ask yourself about planting a church. I would love to hear in the comments if you're feeling called. I would love to even maybe hop on a call with you, help you out, help you figure some things out. So like this video, subscribe to Jeff Moore's, comment, and we'll see you next time.